Well, it appears that the shuttle Discovery will take off uh, this morning in just the next few minutes after all. Joining us now, our science editor, Charles Crawford, along with astronaut Mike Smith. Gentlemen, if uh, things are looking up. Good news. It's yeah. still overcast at the Cape, but they have given the uh, shuttle Discovery a go for launch. And, uh, Mike, maybe we can pick up the commentary here from uh, Mark Hess. Control, uh, transmit the signal to start flight recorders. These uh, two recorders will collect measurements of shuttle system performance during flight and will be played back after the vehicle is in orbit. T-minus five minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. It's been a long wait this morning for this crew. No, it sure has. They uh, got in the shuttle about uh, two and a half hours ago. and were delayed at one point because a cargo ship uh, entered an area where the solid rocket boosters uh, would have landed in the ocean. T-minus five minutes and counting. We have a go for APU start. Pilot Williams now activating Discovery's three auxiliary power units required to bring up hydraulic power. We have stopped replenishment of the liquid oxygen tank and uh, lock strain back has been initiated. Heaters on the orbit are being reconfigured by Commander Bobco. And Pilot Williams reports APU start is complete. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. SRB and external tank safe and armed devices have now been armed, and inhibit will remain on the SNAs until T minus 10 seconds when the range safety destruct system is activated. Main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for engine start. T minus four minutes, nine seconds and counting. Crew has been asked to close the visors on their launch and entry helmet. Chuck Hand hoping that uh, Commander Bobco will have a good flight. Final purge sequence of the main engines is underway. We're at T minus three minutes, 53 seconds and counting. Orbital aero surface test has started. Orbital flight control surface is now being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify that they are ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. Over to ground support equipment, power bus has been turned off. The vehicle is now on internal power, running off its onboard fuel cells fed by ground reactants through the T0 umbilical. Aerosurface checks complete, and aerosurfaces are reported to be in launch configuration. We will now start gimbal checks of the orbiter main engines, all three engines being run through a pre-programmed movement pattern to verify they will be ready for ascent flight control. T-minus three minutes and counting. Engine gimbal checks complete. Shuttle main engine will be placed in the start position. ET liquid oxygen pressurization has started. Purging of the shuttle main engine is terminated. Retraction will start on the gaseous oxygen vent hood. The ground launch sequencer will make a final check to make sure the vent arm is fully retracted at T-minus 37 seconds. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Pilot Williams reporting that the clearing to the caution and warning memory has been completed. Williams reports no unexpected errors. Fuel cell ground supplies have now been terminated. Discovery now running off its onboard fuel cell reactants. Liquid oxygen ellage pressure checks now underway to verify the LOX tank is approaching flight pressure. T minus two minutes, five seconds and counting. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish has been terminated. LA2 pressurization to flight level is underway. Vehicle now isolated from ground loading equipment. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Less than two minutes away now from liftoff of 51D and its seven person crew. At T minus one minute, ground launch sequencer will verify the shuttle main engines are ready to start. T minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting. <laughs> T minus one minute, 15 seconds and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank now at flight pressure.
T-minus one minute and counting. Sound suppression water system now armed. Pre-loft water will be released at T-minus 16 seconds. We have armed the hydrogen burn igniters. They will be fired at the T-minus 10 second mark to eliminate residual hydrogen gas. Main propulsion system liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen outboard fill valves have been closed. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. Over to vent doors being positioned for launch. Coming up on a go to Discovery's onboard computers to start their automatic launch sequence. T minus 31 seconds. We have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's four redundant computers now assuming primary control of critical vehicle functions. Release of pre lift off water and arming of SRB hold down ordinance will occur at the T minus 16 second mark. IMUs go to full inertial at T minus 12 seconds. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have a go for main engine start. 7, 6, and we have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, one. We have SRB ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of mission 51D and the seven member crew of Tuttle has cleared the tower. Houston controlling now. Roger roll, Discovery. That uh, 90 degree roll program initiated puts the ship at the uh, proper uh, alignment for a flight down the inclination of 28.45 degrees. Step down to 90 percent as uh, Discovery goes through active load limiting in uh, preparation for max Q. Throttle's now down to 65 percent. All main engines running smoothly at 65 percent. Velocity 1,200 feet per second, altitude 6 nautical miles. Velocity 1,700 feet per second, altitude 8 miles, distance downrange 6 nautical miles. Throttle's back up at 100% now. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. All main engines run. Crew acknowledging the go of throttle up call. All main engines running smoothly. SRB performance is uh, nominal. Uh, chamber pressure uh, right uh, at uh, 500 psi. APU pressures and temperatures are nominal. Velocity. 3,900 feet per second, distance downrange 21 nautical miles. Uh, the PC less than 50 call a precursor to it. Precursor to SRV separation. And we see, we see nominal separation. And guidance now converges as programmed. Velocity 4,300 feet per second, distance downrange 42 nautical miles, altitude 33.4. So the shuttle Discovery has, after a, almost an hour delay, gotten off to a successful launch, and they're headed now for an orbit that will put them in an orbit over the Earth about 184 miles by 281 statute miles. And it's a five-day mission. The crew of seven are aboard, and apparently all well, and uh, after the weather delay, they are off to uh, their flight. So we'll continue our live coverage of the 16th shuttle flight. Stay with us. 